hello everyone welcome to our video on how to convert text to image using stable diffusion ai so obviously as the name suggests it's an ai ai art tutorial or whatever you want to say so first of all we we go ahead and learn about this we need to understand that what is stable diffusion ai and actually stable diffusion ai is a deep learning text to image model released in 2022 recently and uh, it is primarily like uh, used to generate detailed images conditioned on text description so text description should be very accurate otherwise some images cannot be go ahead obviously you need to tell everything accurately to get everything accurate right so throughout like though it's it can also be applied to other tasks such as in painting out painting and generating image to image to you know uh, translation guided by a uh, text prompt so text prompt is very important so first of all where is stability.ai and where we can find that how to use stable diffusion ai right so as you can see right now we are at stability.ai and actually it is available everywhere on the internet right now if you search on google you will get every little like you know different uh links for that so i have opened up multiple over here if i go over here you can see replicate.com stability ai stability fusion diffusion you can go ahead and do that over here everything is very similar and you can, can like go on huggingface.co you can just do that over here too if you want you know go to advanced setting all those stuff and uh, this is where you will find the blog of stable diffusion public release and if you scroll down it will tell you like where it is belong as you can see these are ai images created so these are not created by a human this is by an ai so which is very detailed as you can see over here this is skin and even beard so if you scroll down at the bottom you can see that you can jo join our dedicated community for stable diffusion here discord available over here hugging face and they gave you multiple links to go ahead and try out but what we are going to do we are going to use stability.ai and if you search that you will end up over here so if you scroll down you can see that we have dream studio over here here you can just create as you can see the description open sourced image generation model that cultivates uh, autonomous uh, freedom to produce incredible imagery so you can do like you can create a head form over here and there is a way to create like download not create download stable diffusion on your computer and it's a different tutorial but just letting you all know that you can just get access to this stability diffusion with multiple sources so it's free obviously and uh, if you click on dream studio you will end up seeing this and it will check your connection is secure or not and you will end up over here so you can go ahead and click on continue with discord or continue with google if it's all on you or go ahead and click on uh, like enter your individual email so i'm going with my uh, like google account obviously so let me do that so as you can see i need to authorize app yep accept that and you will end up over here so you can see welcome to dream studio open beta obviously this is my first time so that's why it's showing me everything and what's new uh, the last update was 7 December Stable Diffusion version 2.1 is live featuring uh, 1, uh, 512 and 768 pixel model and all those stuff if you want to read ahead and go ahead I will read it after like while editing this video so I'm just going to close this right now and here we are this is the dashboard on the left side you have your menu on the right side you have your properties so let's get started and do everything like we needed to do right so let's get started so now as you can see uh it has already given us a uh, prompt over here but we are not going to generate this right now uh, and uh, what we are going to do we are going to check out some menu options over here on the left side so if you click on history obviously if you have any done like multiple prompt uh already you will find that over here this is your history very normal right after that you have your prompt which is very necessary to understand like in every ai by the way so as you can see over here prompt elements so it asks you that simplest way to describe in your central theme is subject or figure in a in your prompt for instance panda so you can get the panda obviously a body with a sword you can get the warrior with a sword and skeletons you can see over here so these are some guidance which has given to you you know so i think go ahead and do that you can use this all if you want you know or just read it out just for further information if you want you know and they have socials over here frequently asked questions over there and support simple and if you click on dream you will end up over here on the right side you have your width 
uh, like how much with you do you want and we have already seen that 7.1 allows you to get five uh, 512 pixels so yeah you can get that with and hide cfg scaling is also here how many steps to spend generating diffusion your image so you can just set that steps so right now it's on 30 you can just go ahead like make it more or you can just go to decrease it if you want number of images for if you want and we can just go with the one and uh, sampler uh, if you want to like uh, the diffusion sampling method cannot be provide, modified if clip guidance or an inputting method is used so this is different this is very different but we are here to generate an image right so right now i just created a prompt from chat gpt and i'm going to add that over here but before we go further let's generate this one this is by default from dreams uh stable diffusion so i'm just going to click on dream and you can see this is very fast obviously this is a default you know prompt so it would take some time and as you can see this is very cool this is very cool in my opinion this is this looks very cool and the be best part is this is original nobody can copy this so this is the only one i have i can i, I can use this for my uh, background or anything for my purpose you know so you can see a dream of distant galaxy this is a galaxy concept art made painting hq and 4k this is a 4k image you can just easily download it from over here and you can see how quick it is click on that it has been downloaded so yeah it is so quick and this is open in editor you can just use editor also and uh, what we need to do i'm just going to create an image of a sunset let me show you i just copy this from my chat gpt and if i search this over here create an image of a sunset over a beach with palm trees and a couple walking hand in hand on the sand so let's go ahead and search this let's stream this you know and you can see how fast this is let's see how it works out can ai detect this or not let's wait for it and here we are oh my god this is very accurate this is very accurate what create an image of a sunset over a beach with palm trees a couple walking hand in hand on the sand oh my god this is very accurate and the best part of this stability diffusion is if i click on dream again you can see that it will create same uh, like different image but with the same prompt if i click on dream as you can see it would take some time but not that much as you can see just wait for a while and it will create different image for you with same prompt every single time you click on dream so this is very useful i cannot believe this is very accurate with my prompt right so i have five more prompt over here written and uh, i'm gonna copy this and i haven't read them so i'm just gonna read that over here so generate an image of majestic snow capped uh mountain with a clear blue sky and a loner hiker trekking up the slope so let's see let's dream about it you know and wait for it yup everything is very accurate as you can see majestic snow capped mountain you know with a clear blue sky and a loner hiker trekking up on the slope wow this is very general this is very accurate i guess this is one of the best i have ever used and the best part is you can download it right away and i don't know what is this this is very new for me and like sh editor so let's click on this oh we can edit them oh wow we can restore and we can mask it out we can just use this image strength if i go up you know so this is very new for me i haven't used it as as you can see so i'm just gonna go back and uh, from over here yeah so here we are let's try four more which is this one and uh, real quick we will wind up this video as you can see this is very useful create an image of a busting city street at a night at night with bright neon lights tall skyscrapers and uh, people walking on the show so this is in, this isn't what i suggested but okay let's try dream again tall skyscrapers okay kind of looking like okay this is an art but we don't need an art let's see uh wait for it mm, so this is an art kind of like retro vibe but we get the idea like what is looking like so generate an image we have three more let's do this let's do that real quick generate and i'm gonna copy that again so you can just see how quick it is first of all 
and uh, create an image of uh, yep. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't know why it's showing up again and again, but this is clear image. And go back. For some reason, it's bugged out. I don't know why. Obviously, it's in a beta version right now. But you get the idea how good it is. Create an image of a countryside with rolling hills and red barn, as you can see. And this is very accurate, as as we can see. So you get the idea how good this stable diffusion and stable diffusion is. And this AI is wonderful. And I believe you get the idea like how good it is. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye and take care. I hope you learned a lot from this video.